Today I'm going to give you a quick run through of a dynamo lighting and charging system. So to charge devices and light your way using a dynamo system, firstly you need a dynamo wheel set. We have a range of dynamo wheel sets in the Hunt range, 700C, 700C Carbon, 650B and also a mountain bike search 29 wheel set. All our dynamo wheel sets use a Som Dulux hub. A dynamo hub is essentially a small electricity generator, so when the wheel moves forward, a small current is produced, and this can be used to power your lights and also to recharge devices such as phones, GPSs, and things like that. I'm using this bike for the Tour Divide, and this is my setup. So as you can see, the wiring comes from the hub and runs up and then splits off at the top here. We've got the input and the output on the exposure Revo light. The exposure Revo light is especially good for off-road riding, it's got a really, really bright and widespread beam, but you might wish to consider something else for road riding. Supernovas are particularly good on the road and they can be mounted in different locations and also they're legal for riding in countries like Germany where you need to have a specific lens. You can also run in parallel a rear light, so this just takes power off the front light and the cable runs the length of the frame, so essentially you have no worries with lighting. If you're moving forward you can power your lights. You can also run a USB converter off the dynamo hub so I tend to run the light at night, obviously, because it's dark when you need it. And during the day, I like to charge my devices. So the cable splits, and then I store the USB converter in the frame bag. And this one is a sine wave revolution. Now, there are other, other brands out there. I've just happened to end up using this one, as it, as it works pretty well. So as you can see, there's just a USB port on the outside. And you would then charge your devices using a standard USB cable. So the Simo Revolution is a very simple device, there's no on or off switch. Some other devices do have on and off switches, but I like the simplicity of this. So essentially it's got a USB out port on there, so you just plug that in. And I like to use these 90 degree cables because it just means that there's less pressure and pulling on the joint. Now during the day I like to charge a power bank battery, and then I use that to charge my devices. The benefit of that is some devices, such as phones, um, can be quite sensitive to fluctuations in current. You're not going at continuous speed all the time, so changes in speed can make the current fluctuate, uh, and it can damage some circuitry. So the best thing to do is to charge your power bank during the day. You can just put it on and leave it, and then when you need to ch charge your GPS or your phone, you can then charge that, swap the cable around, and use that to charge your GPS. The other benefit is, as well, if you've got a bank of power there waiting and you're at night, you can then charge and use the lights at the same time using the power bank. If you run the power bank and the lights at the same time, it can, it basically, there's only so much current, so the lights will be dimmer and it won't charge as quickly, so it's not as effective. If you found that interesting or have any further questions, please either write a comment below or email us on thechase at huntbikewheels.com and we will help you out the best we can.